Hey everyone, welcome back to another Splatoon General Tips video. All of the previous tips can be found in the video description below. As always, if you know these tips, great. But there are always people that are new to this game that don't know these tips. And there are players that have been playing for a very long time that don't even practice these things. So anyhow, with that out of the way, let's continue where we left off in our previous General Tips video. Number 11. Move forward while looking at the gamepad. I always see some of my teammates do the following. They would respawn, then stand still and look at the gamepad. You know, and be like, la di da di da, hmm, where should I jump to? And after a couple of seconds of thinking and standing around doing nothing, they would make their choice. This tip is to help you save some of those precious seconds and be more efficient. So here we go. When you die, Immediately look at the gamepad and figure out where to jump to. Don't waste time looking at the TV, looking at who killed you, but instead look at the gamepad and figure out where you should be jumping to. When you respawn, you should be able to immediately jump to that location without wasting any time. But what if you respawn and you still haven't decided where to jump to yet? Don't stand still and look at the gamepad. Instead, you want to move forward while looking at the gamepad. That way, when you decide to jump, the jump distance is going to be shorter because you were already moving closer to your jump destination. And even if you decided not to jump after looking at the gamepad, that's fine because you didn't waste several seconds standing still at the base. You were already moving forward. But be careful of stages like Bluefin Depot because you can accidentally swim off the map like this. <laughs> I've accidentally done that many times before, so watch out. Number 12. Know which teammate to squid jump to. Sometimes when you get splatted, you feel this sense of urgency that you need to get back to the front lines. Get back to where you died, to where your teammates are so you can help secure the objective. And so everyone gets this tendency to squid jump to the teammate that is closest to the objective. And that makes sense, right? Because if you do that, you get back into the action right away. Because squid jumping to your teammate that is at the front lines is a lot faster than swimming to him or her. But I'm here to tell you, you should not do that. You should not jump to the teammate that is at the front lines. Take this for example. Here is a map of Walleye Warehouse. You're on the yellow team and you just respawned. You see a teammate here, the one at the front lines, and you decide to jump to that person because that teammate is closest to the action, closest to where the enemies are. Don't jump to that person because more often than not, that person is getting shot at. And guess what happens when you jump over there? You're going to get shot at too. You're going to die from a bomb or from some sort of special. And not only does your teammate have to worry about his or herself, now they have to protect you and make sure you land safely. Don't jump to your teammates at the front lines. Instead, what you want to do is jump to your teammate that is not that close to the front lines. Not over here, but over here where it's safer, you know, if you have a teammate there. That's why when you watch me play, you don't see me jump to my teammates that often. Because I looked at the gamepad, and I saw that my teammates were dangerously close to the action. And so what do I do? I swim there. Or I jump to someone that's not that close. Number 13. Setting your camera position. Note, this tip is only for people that uses motion controls. Do this for me. Hold your gamepad in a normal, comfortable position. You'll notice your inkling is looking down at the ground or at a slight angle towards the ground. This is your default camera angle. Your inkling is always looking down. If you're like me, you might find it slightly annoying to have to constantly tilt the gamepad up in order to see what's ahead. Wouldn't it be nice to have the camera positioned so that your inkling is always looking forward and not at the ground when you're holding the gamepad at a neutral, comfortable position? Well, you can do that. Just press X when your inkling is looking at the ground, and BAM! Now your inkling is looking forward by default. Do you want to adjust the camera a little bit more? Just look up or down and then press X. It's that simple. Number 14. Right side peeking. 
You can position your Ingling in such a way that you can shoot your target from behind a corner and they cannot hit you. All you have to do is position your Ingling so that the corner is covering more than half the body like so. By doing this, not only will you have the wall covering you, but you will also be able to fire your weapon at the opponent. Now let's see this in action. This was taken from one of my live streams. Let's see that again in slow motion. Low accuracy weapons like the Splattershot Jr. works just fine with the right side peeking despite what other people say about this. Number 15, Urchin Underpass Wall. Did you know that you can see people climb up this wall when you're standing here on Urchin Underpass? And it only works here because that wall your opponent is climbing up on is very thin. And this glass floor over here allows you to see that very thin wall and almost any kind of ink that is being splatted on that wall from the other side. Watch this spot right here. Did you see that blaster shot? You can see them ink the wall. That's crazy. Not only that, but you can see them climb up the wall too. Anyway, that's it for now. If you found this helpful or know of anyone that can benefit from these tips, please share them because the better our teammates get, the less we're going to blame them when we lose. Gosh, my teammates suck. Do they even know how to Splatoon? <laughs> anyway, love you all. Bye.